Every year, new healthy food trends hit the market. Some are just fads, but others stick around for a good reason. In this video, we will explore a mix of new and old healthy food trends that are definitely worth trying, and we will see how we could easily incorporate them into our diet. Kelp Kelp is a type of seaweed that's rich in B vitamins and minerals like calcium, magnesium, iron and iodine. Not only it's nutritious, but it's also sustainable, requiring no fertilizer and actually helping to clean the water. We can find kelp in capsules or powder, fresh or in pureed frozen cubes, which makes it easy to add it to our diet by tossing some into soups, smoothies or sauces. Hemp seeds. Hemp seeds, also known as hemp hearts, have been around for a while and for a good reason. They are the seeds of the hemp plant Cannabis sativa, a different variety than the most common cannabis, and contains only trace amounts of the psychoactive compounds. They are a great source of protein, omega-6, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin E and minerals, like phosphorus, potassium, sodium, magnesium, sulfur, calcium, iron and zinc. This is a long list. They have a nutty flavor and can be added to any salad or meatball. I like to add them to a very easy protein-packed sardine paste that is spread on bread. You can have a look at this video here. Microgreens. Microgreens are immature greens produced from the seeds of vegetables and herbs. They are rich in flavor and nutrients, containing up to 40 times more nutrients compared to their mature counterparts. Some of these nutrients include vitamin C, E and K. Since the 80s, they have been used as a garnish or decoration, but they can be added to toasts, dishes, salads or even smoothies to boost the nutrients loads and add flavor. Nowadays, there are many products that helps us grow microgreens at home all year round. Bone broth. Bone broth is a rich clear liquid made by simmering animal bones in water for a few hours. Rich in protein, one cup of chicken bone broth contains around nine grams of protein, and one cup of beef bone broth has around 11 grams. It also contains collagen, which is known to improve our skin, hair and nails health, but also our bones, since it's rich in calcium. Bone broth is also rich in important minerals known as electrolytes. We can use bone broth as a stock in soups, gravies and sauces, or drink it on its own. Nowadays, there are many brands selling bone broth ready to be consumed. As usual, make sure to read the ingredient list. You can also make your own bone broth by simmering animal bones in water for a few hours and for better taste, add in vegetables and herbs. Once it reaches room temperature, it can also be frozen and it lasts for a long time. Colorful veggies. Adding colorful veggies to our diet not only makes our meals more visually appealing, but it also helps to ensure that we are getting all the vitamins and minerals that we actually need. Additionally, this will help maintain a thriving gut microbiome. Purple potatoes, yellow cauliflower and purple carrots are just a few examples of the many new colorful veggies that are available. These veggies are not genetically modified, but are grown through a slow process that farmers use to select and grow crops with desired traits. Eating vegetables in a different shade than usual might psychologically help us to be more willing to eat certain types of veggies. Fermented foods. Fermented foods have been around for a long time. But they have recently regained popularity not only because they are rich in probiotics, but also because they are being presented in new forms. The most uncommon fermented foods are sauerkrauts and other pickled vegetables. But you might already be familiar with kombucha, a fermented fizzy sweet and sour drink made with tea. Or miso, a fermented paste made from soybeans that can add a salty umami flavor to many dishes. Fermented foods have been shown to be beneficial for our gut health and we can't go wrong with any of them. When we'll buy them ready to eat, let's just make sure to read those labels. Ancient grains. Ancient grains like kamut, farro, barley, spelt and quinoa are less processed and contain more nutrients and fiber than more common grains. Some of these ancient grains are also naturally gluten-free, making them a great option 
for those with gluten allergies and intolerances. They can be cooked simply by boiling them and easily added to salads, meatballs, or as a side to any protein. Turmeric. Turmeric is a spice that has been used in India for thousands of years as both a spice and medicinal herb. Recently, science has been backing up traditional claims that turmeric contains compounds with medicinal properties such as anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. Curcumin, the active ingredient of turmeric, has also shown some promise in treating depression. Curcumin can be taken in a supplement form if used for its medicinal purpose, and turmeric makes a great addition to our spice cabinet. It can be used in many recipes like this roasted turmeric chickpeas, this version of the Persian Mirza Gassami, or a cozy golden milk. I have added all the links to these recipes in the description box. Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has been around for ages, but has gained more popularity in recent years. It's available in a pasteurized or raw form, with the latter having the additional benefit of containing antioxidants and natural probiotics for a healthier gut. Many people swear by apple cider vinegar as an acid reflux remedy. Apple cider vinegar can also be used to avoid blood glucose spikes to prevent insulin resistance and disrupt metabolic health. We can use it in any salad, make a delicious vinaigrette for a meal bowl, or we can dilute it in a big glass of water and drink it before our meals. I talk more about it in this video up here. If you take medications or have health conditions, it's recommended you ask your doctor before starting using apple cider vinegar regularly. Adaptogens. Adaptogens are bioactive substances derived from plants and roots that can help with hormone regulation, stress, anxiety, and energy. They have been used for hundreds of years in non-Western cultures. They can be taken in a capsule or tincture format or by adding them to food or beverages. Ashwagandha is a popular adaptogen that has a positive effect on the endocrine, nervous, immune, and cardiovascular systems, helping us relax by calming how our brain responds to stress. Another popular adaptogen is ginseng, used to combat fatigue and increase energy levels. And talking about energy, would you like to give it a boost by simply using your everyday foods? In this video here, I talk about 9 foods that can help to increment our energy levels. You don't want to miss it.